Great day. Look at that tree. That's a really big tree. It's a cedar. You see there? <laughs> big tree. <laughs> What's up everybody? We are in Hilton Head, South Carolina for a cold and windy day beach trip. And we decided to come by Hudson Seafood. We heard a lot of great things about this. They had a lot of good reviews online. Over 6,000. Yeah, over 6,000 reviews online, so we're gonna try it out. Here we go. Here we go. That was fantastic. That was the best fried oysters I've had in a good while, but it was really nice in there. We could see the, um, what is this called? Like the pier, if you turn the camera around, we can actually see the pier. Oh yeah, this is the um, outdoor, uh, this is the outdoor like little oyster bar area. And then and apparently people can pull their boats up right over there. Yep. And, and then there's a bridge up there. We don't know where anything really is, but we're getting some pretty shots of it and all like that. Anyway, Jay, you pull your boat right up here and come get some fantastic seafood. And it smells like the ocean out here, it like smells, the beach. It smells amazing, you guys. But we ended up getting the, what did you get? I got the, I asked her what the fresh fish of the day was and it was the swordfish. So I got the swordfish sandwich. Um, with fries and hush puppies and coleslaw. The coleslaw was different than I'm used to. It was a kind of a vinegar based, I think. But it was very good. It was much better than typical coleslaw that I'm used to. There's this really nice little uh, green sauce that came with the sandwich, which was really, really, really good. Um, and I got it with fries. And the hush puppies were phenomenal too. Probably the best hush puppies we've had. We've been to a lot of places with hush puppies, barbecue joints and seafood places at home. and. Um, I would say that those are probably the best hush puppies, um, and they they were smaller. They're a lot smaller, so the the ratio of like bread to crisp and all was perfect. Little little bite size uh, hush puppies. And what did you get? I got the fried oyster lunch platter, so that came with about twelve oysters. Um, they were smaller, but they were really good. They tasted really fresh because we are by the sea. Um, and then if you visit or the I mean ocean, sorry. If you do go online, which we'll attach a link to their website, they're, they're uh, fresh catches. So everything's pretty fresh here. It's literally right by the sea. So we ended up spending a total of $53. So it's not a everyday expense, but it is good food. So if you are in Hilton Head, come out to Hudson's. Good food, great views, and just a chill time.
Okay, we're gonna go on the boardwalk. Osprey Outlook Boardwalk. I guess people could could put their names in these. It's pretty neat. So we went into the little museum just now and looked around and uh, now we're coming out on the trail. This is the Osprey Boardwalk. Ooh, marshmallow. Oh, I love a good marshmallow. That's what it smells like out here. I love that smell. Plus we're very fortunate in the fact that we're out here in cooler weather because in warmer weather, that smells very pungent. <laughs> wow, look at that mud. Is that a print? You see those prints? Oh yeah. Look those are those probably prints. ospreys. Paparazzi. <laughs> what would you think about this uh, little osprey? I love it. Boardwalk. Oh yeah. There's a little butterfly habitat, but I think they, she said that they weren't going to be they're not uh, born yet. Yeah, it's not time for them yet, so. But we can go in and see. Oh yeah, the 2022 butterfly breeding season has ended. There may be a few adult butterflies in the habitat, but their numbers will decline as winter approaches. You're welcome to walk in, enjoy the garden, and see our hibernating chrysalises that will hatch in the spring of 2030. I want to see some chrysalises, so let's go. That's what they look like. That's what we just had, oysters. You just had oysters. And I love them. Hudson's, check it out. So we just got done with the Coastal Discovery Museum out here at Hilton Head. They have three boardwalks, which we only did two because there's a gull festival happening today. Mm -hmm. Um, and they closed off one out of the two boardwalks. So we only did two that you saw. And then this is in Hilton Head. Very family friendly. It's free. Uh, the only thing that you may see is asks for donations. But other than that, it's free. So it's a great time for the family. We saw a lot of little kids here. Oh yeah. Elderly. So it's easy. Oh, yeah. It's walkable. Oh yeah. It's very, it's very walkable. This is not even like a that there's there's no difficulty whatsoever to these little trails it's just right behind the little center that we went in came out here and did a little walk and it's nice and cool it's around and it's in the 50s so it's amazing and the mud doesn't smell as bad when it's a little cooler like this but ooh, that was a big old fish just jumped oh no it was a bird getting so, him some lunch so we're going to we got heard some rumors that there's a lighthouse in the area so i think we're going to maybe head on to the lighthouse maybe yeah we're gonna try it's the Harbor Lighthouse, so it is more inland, I believe. I don't know. We but, don't you know, know what we're talking we'll about. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys at the lighthouse. Ahoy, mateys. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't we didn't know that you had to have cash you go and actually into like a private 
road or a private residence or something to get to the lighthouse. So we didn't have cash on us, it's $9. So we weren't able to do that, but the seafood that we had was fantastic. It was from Hudson. Yeah, and it's really cool and windy out here, but what? it's amazing because there's really not that many people. Yeah on the beach because it's still i guess it's still considered winter time but it's a good time to come there's not it's not packed no eyes in the water though except for a few crazies yeah she got in the water i did is it cold yeah it's cold but you get used to it that it was a great time we had great food great views a great little miniature vacay oh yeah and it's, it's an awesome little town to come to really really nice and quiet there's not a lot of uh you know if you like a beach town with a little with a little less traffic a little less people this is great, especially this time of year. Yeah, and this is way better as far as crowd levels than Myrtle, which I will attach the link to Myrtle Beach that we went to. So you can see we went in the prime the summertime. It was packed, but this is winter, so it's uh -huh. not as packed. But come out, check it out. We'll put the links down below. If you, uh, you want to bring your pets, <laughs> there's pets everywhere on the beach. I'll give you a little quick go around so you can see. There's really not that many people out here today. But if you look, you can see it's like nobody out here. But anyway, this has been a load of fun and we're gonna head on back home and drive on into the sunset. So now we're gonna leave y'all with the peaceful sounds of the Hilton Head Ocean.